Hello everyone, welcome back to Jared's Mind Stuff and the first video inside Parkitect. Now today we're going to be playing Parkitect on the PC. And we have done a theme park tycoon before in Roblox, but today we're going to play act an actual theme park game. So hopefully this could be a nice series and um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. So yeah, we're going to be getting a sandbox on the campaign. I'm going to start off in flat terrain large for a nice flat area to do what we want. Now, we're going to leave the research and achievements and money all bomb. So it's going to be very good. Should be enjoyable. It's not going to be too much cheating and everything. Begin. Not saying that's cheating ba bad or anything in games like this, but for this, for this theme park, we're going to have money and achievements and and research, which is something I normally keep off but I want to leave it on for now. So here we are. Um, let's close the park and call it... Um, fun... Fun... Stuff... Park. Park. There you go. S fun Stuff Park for one dollar. Pretty a bargain, but it's actually kind of expensive because I'll walk on a little road there with this little pathway. So we're gonna first we're gonna begin and we're gonna have a carousel, a very classic thing. So we have the I think we'll put the entrance there and the exit here. And if we move along, there's the exit. I kinda like that path color and then uh I think that'll be good. Um hmm, should we square or round? Uh we're gonna go round for a start. Classic. And Let's put that there. It's very nice. This is much easier than um theme park tycoon. And you also have um theme park tycoon Roblox. I know there is like a proper theme park tycoon, but you have like workers and everything. But it does have some different different challenges, which I'll show you soon. But with the food stuff, with the food stalls, with the stalls right here. Look, oh, that's the carousel music. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but so we got the carousel open, and um, let me just show you. So basically. This is like a loading area, and you have these workers called haulers, which haul goodies to the stall. So it's like it's like a hot dog, for example. If we put a hot dog stall, um, let me let me get a good like food court area. Uh, I think like um, across there. You go. That that's nice. And we have a nice food court area, so we have like hot dogs basically. Imagine we had hot dogs there. You see how it says like it doesn't have like a crate symbol? That's because it's out of stock. And we need to get haulers to be sold to any see to the line here. So those are the stuff that haulers need to move to this stand. What the what's this? Shopkeeper. Oh, the shopkeeper's coming in, okay. Um so these are owner paths. You can also do like signs to block it, but I like using the proper path, so you drag the path up here. And another thing too, the guests will complain if you're if the haulers are walking to it in where the guests can walk, they complain. So with these pathways that the guests don't get as angry. Of course they are gonna be walking straight across the front, so I don't know how much it will help, but it should help a little bit. And then the haulers, so we'll hire a hauler right now. We'll put I well I normally hire two. There you go, there's two high haulers. Um Sonaji and Wendy or so Soji or Wendy, I don't know how I can't pronounce it that well. And they're gonna be if you like see if you click here and it goes to thoughts. This is like it was a satisfaction, I guess. Never mind um hot dogs. And you see I was like lying, so that's one of the crates that heading heading over and there's another crate. So it's kind of like showing it. Then we can also have soft drinks is good. That should connect right on. Yep, see the line going to so they have the soft drinks. And we're also get some toilets because those are always good. Uh, we'll put the toilets there. I guess we we'll put one there. And cash machines and customizable shops too. But well, I'm not going to be using those yet. So we have to keep an eye on money. We have twenty-two thousand six hundred twelve dollars right now and seventeen cents. Now let's go. Let's we're gonna get a twist. Now it's raining. That's a good thing to show. Um, raining's not too bad. But oh, right, right now it's actually thundering, as you can see. So basically, rides like Twister or Swinging Ship or like roller coasters too. They won't work in thunderstorm because cause you could get like struck by lightning and it could have cause problems. So they're normally offline in real theme parks, which is pretty realistic for a theme, which is pretty realistic. So. 
entrance and exit where I normally just oh if you open it up then open it up right then without the path connected it will still allow you to which is nice so you don't have to worry about like clicking it on clicking it again so I think we're gonna do this one um, a bit more unique I I make the queue pass paths huge e even though I would even though they never get really filled up but just in case they do so here we go it's a really long queue pass it's weird shape but okay and this one's weird too huh so then if we move on, so here's coasters, and the coast, I'm going to show you a coaster mechanic, I want to get a classic wooden coaster, who doesn't like a classic wooden coaster, so I'm going to put one there, oop, a little lag spike there, so you, here's like the station, then kind of like uh, how um, Theme Park Tycoon is like a Roblox, but it's a bit different, so here we're going to start off gently, because the guests do care how intense it is, but that is a thing you have to keep in mind, so it's something I have to keep in mind for it to be successful. So we start raising it up here. Gentle here. It's not going to be the most extreme, and we don't have too much money, so it's not going to be the biggest. Then we're going to have a turn. Oh, the tr see, see that means see that's the little chain icon. When you do the turn, it goes gray, so it's not it doesn't have the chain. So we're going to keep going up. Then it is a wooden coaster. I think you could do that. Wait, where's the chain at? Is the chain still there? No, it isn't. See that's that, see, see that's nice. See a little like holographic model that shows you how it's going instead of just testing at the very end so there you go now it's working that was so weird and you may remember to de deactivate the ch deactivate the chains because I've done that before on theme park type you know that was awful but um so let's do a turn you can't do banks like this way I kind of missed out let's do a 70 bank turn let's head back it is nice to go straight back without like worrying about gradually doing it like in Theme Park Tycoon. I build that. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a bit intense. I wanna. It doesn't even look intense, but that would be like really intense. I'm sure it is right now. It's like outrageous sometimes. They might need to fix that. I'm gonna go lift it up. Maybe I'm gonna pull back up for another second hill and go down. And then do like that. It's nice. You want to do another loop, but not hang back to the station yet. Let's um, let's go in a little bit. The banks probably make it more extreme, but banks are always fun. And we put that down here and go boop 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 boop. Should be another drop. I'm kind of gradually sloping it down, as you can see the cart. I love the wooden coasters; and this is so realistic and everything. And then we loop it up like that. Ooh, pull that da back down. Ooh, well, it's lagging a bit. Then we have a little hills here, then turn. And we're going to loop it in like that. Do another one. Ooh, no, hold on. There we go. Then go straight, pull the bank down. And going up a little bit. But not too high. Don't want to keep this too, too extreme. So put that down and go up a little bit. Then another hill. They do have br breaks and block breaks too, and you have spiral stuff like that. Maybe I'll use that. And then you have, like, I don't know. He's like, I can't know. It normally would tell you by, well, I'm not doing that right now, so. As you see, so the train's still successful. It is, the excitement's high, and I think it's an intensity's medium, which is actually very good. So hopefully that, like, hopefully I read that correctly. Oh, yeah. I have, like, sometimes I have to get used to the controls, I mean. Make mistakes, so we tilt down like that. Ooh, I kind of was scared to do a drop. I'm gonna do a gentle drop, do a turn, go down here, and ooh, let me go a bit r down here. Is that connect? Can I do a break? We have to there. You go, final break. So there you go. This is the roller coaster, and. Let me, um, where should I place this? I think, there you go. Very classic. And what are the results? So, this is where you can learn about test results. So, intensity is medium, excitement is high. Yes! That means it's going to be very exciting and not too intensity, which is the perfect, which is very good. So, yeah. Now, I'll go with decor. No. Yeah, all that stuff. As you can see, duration is 48 seconds. So, it's pretty, has a lot of cool stuff. Then you can have G forces. Wait. These are the really cool transition. Boom. But yeah, these are G force and they're told you which is like this is like positive and then negative G G stuff like that. And pretty co pretty complex. This is how the expenses, revenue, satisfaction, and thoughts will be here. 
outstanding jobs because the rides can break down and so so then now this is the test kind of like in theme park tycoon and roblox and then here there's i had proper test dummies which i think is cool instead of just the cart just going out then you wait you have speed up buttons because of course it's been so it's been oh, three months you start in year one january so it's been three months that's been closed i guess uh one way to it's all ready to go before we do the grand opening um uh what what's going on is that because like the chain stopped oh, oh it's because it's thundering is that it really let me go ahead and um speed up time so the storm can pass another thing too the ride carts also move with like move I don't know how they like they, they go automa even though no one's on them they keep going which is interesting because they normally wouldn't do that Oh, how long is this going to take? Oh, oh, there we go. So, yeah, there we go. Now we're back. As you can see, there it goes. Um, You can press X and you can kind of, like, go in the camera mode. And then, oh, wow, that that, just, that looks interesting right there. Whoa. Whoa, I didn't, you go, like, a 90 degree? I didn't know that I would do that. Oh, wow. I have been on roll, I have been on wind coasters that are like that. Here we go, and a bank right there, and we go down. You can't actually go underground in this, have tunnels and everything, but I didn't do that on this coaster, but we can make plenty more coasters in the future, and will. And then the brakes, and then you're at back to the stop. There we go, so that's perfect. Let's go to the open. So since we have a coaster and two, and a calm ride and a thrill ride, I think we need to get maybe another calm ride, another thrill ride before we open up. And we need to get benches, lamps, and everything like that. We have a lot to do before the opening. So, I'm gonna do like that. This. There you go. Because this roller coaster is gonna be popping. And now... Ooh, I kind of... Ooh, that's not... Ooh, it's gonna be a bit tight. Kind of blocked off that area. So, I'm gonna go sneakily around here. But Next ride. We don't have too much because of the um, research. They're researching throw rides, which should be good. Let's get a swinging ship. So... Going to have, um, uh, I think we should put entrance and exit. The exit should go around there. That should be nice. And then here's the queue. And uh, finally, you should have one one more calm ride of the teacups. Yeah, let me get one of these in here. It's very good. Uh, you know, we're not going to have a teacup. We're going to open this. Well, no, we have to get the lamppost before we open it. Here's water, transport rides, and coasters, of course. That's all about researching. Now, uh, so these are open now, as you can see. They don't have that little thing, so they're all stocked up. And they will continuously need stocking up. Now, the now other things, other people you can get is janitors and mechanics fix the rides, janitors clean up. Security will stop vandalism, like they will break the benches, and these are just entertainers. So, yeah. And then these are work zones, which gets very complicated, but we'll probably cover those in another, um, episode. So, if we move on, um, um, where do we go? Oh, yeah, and I remember, um, benches. So, the bench we're gonna have... Uh, uh, these ones always are very hot in the sun, so I want to get w these ones. Nice wooden benches, or they look like wooden benches, so I'm going to put those around so people can sit. The most important thing is the trash cans, because then they will litter all around, and that just gets very annoying. So the trash cans are the most important, but we need seating, and this is like an eating area, too. Now, one thing you don't have, like, bench, like, proper, like, picnic benches and umbrellas, unlike, um, the rope, unlike, um, Theme Park Tycoon and Roblox. Ah, they're the, they're the supply surplus of buns, decreasing the pi price by 28%, meaning they will, mean like, hot dogs will cost less. Less, or it means that the cost cost, or, like, the buying it costs less. I never really figured it out, but. So, I don't know everything about this game either. Um, here's the trash can, so normally I'd use these ones, because they have the, um, I just like the design, really. Nice and big. They are fourteen dollars. As you can see, we already spent like twelve grand on this park. And you can get loans in this game, which is very nice, but so yeah, that is very nice. And then finally we have lamps to keep it all lit up. And we're gonna have I kinda like these ones. I wanna do I never properly used these one before. Are they like I think they're solar powered. Interesting. Uh and 
there, one there, there, and one there. So, uh, I think that's almost it. And, um, right, so we have the lamps. We have the, um, we have lamps. We have benches. And we have, we have lamps, benches, and trash cans. And we have food. We have lights. We have rides. And let's see, we need to hire the rest of the workers, and I think we can have the grand opening. But I think we're going to have the grand opening, and we're going to have to end the episode here, because I think it's going to be about 20 minutes. If not, I think this is a good place to stop. And in the next episode, ooh, we finished our research, that's great, but in the next episode, we can actually start running the theme park with people and everything. Let's just see this new ride. Um, or oh, Turbulation, whoa! Okay, before we end the video, I want to get this on before we open. Uh, I think there's a little, yeah. Because this is ridiculous. This is so cool. There goes the swinging ship. Swinging. Oh, this is, this is a, this is a cool ride. I never, I don't think I've seen one like this. I don't think so. Maybe I have, but I just, I don't think so. And pull it like that. That's a huge cue. Open this one up. And yeah, oh yeah, last, I forgot to name the coaster. Um, we're going to call this the, um, the mine, the mine stuffer. The mine stuffer. Perfect. We have the mine stuffer and we have the fun stuff park. And yeah. What is this again? Uh, clothes for new guests. Oh yeah, I remember that. I thought that was like testing or something, but yeah. And we have the entrance. We're gonna put this up to a mere five dollars at least. Pretty good. We do have to pay for the ride, so we'll talk about prices and everything later in the next episode. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna have the grand opening. Everyone, come in. Here's our first guest. The first guest. It is April. Welcome to the Fun Stuff Park. I have to remember that. I'm gonna keep forgetting that name. And this is a um. These are like notifications, but that is the end of this video right here. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, Parkitect episode number one, hopefully, and hopefully we have much more. So, I'll see you later. Bye!